Hi there. Um, today I would like to read another letter from Alexandra to um, Anya Varubova, um, still from 1917. Um, it would be 9th December. Um, and um, uh, But first I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel um, and to like and to comment and all that good stuff and um, this way um, you're really supporting my channel and I'm hoping to keep going and bringing you all the different interesting things regularly at least once a week sometimes twice um, I'm going to be making videos doing um, these little um, video podcast where I read things for you that haven't been published yet. Um, I also hope at some point uh, to start um, cooking um, things from the Romanov menus. I, I do have, um, I'm working on a book uh, about the things they ate and um, I have um, a collection of menus which I plan to include in, in the book. Um, in, along with some recipes uh, so I hope to to try and and cook some of these things with you and see what happens um, I'll do it um, for the first time here on on my channel in other words I'm not gonna practice and then see what happens so we'll kind of learn together as to what um, what comes out <laughs> basically so I hope to do that that's a bit in the future but uh, for now I really would like to be able to um, continue doing regular broadcasts for you and I also would like to go live um, so that we can um, interact um, in, in real life time but for that I need to have um, a thousand um, subscribers that's the only way that YouTube is gonna allow it so help me um, get more subscribers make sure you subscribe and uh, maybe pass it on to other people who might be interested um, and if they're not interested uh, we'll have to get them interested um, I think uh, you know it, it, it's a it's a, sort of a subject that sells itself so I don't know how hard we need to push people but it would be nice to over 5,000 subscribers now um, followers on on the um, in the steps of the Romanovs um, group um, I have over 10,000 followers on Instagram and uh, and about the same amount in um, in the Facebook page uh, the Russian Imperial family in their own words so Hopefully, uh, these people will will come over to my YouTube channel and and subscribe and and uh, have another avenue of of um, learning and and getting information from me. And uh, you know, it's probably the most fun one because it's it's a video. Anyway, thank you. Um, and uh, without further ado, let me start reading. So. So this is, um, as I mentioned, 9th of December, 1917, um, and it's a, um, a letter from Alexandra to Anya Ver Verubova. This is the feast day of the Virgin of, of the Unexpected Joy. I always read the day's service, and I know that you, dear, do the same. It is the anniversary of our last journey together to Saratov. Do you remember how lovely it was? The old holy woman is dead now, but I keep her icon always near me. Yesterday it was nine months since we were taken into captivity, and more than four months since we came here. Which of the English nurses was it who wrote to me? I am surprised to hear that Nini Voyakov and her family did not receive the icons I sent them before leaving. Give kind regards to your faithful old servant and Nastya. This year I cannot give them anything for their Christmas tree. How sad. My dear, you are splendid. May Christ be with you. Give my thanks to fathers John and Dosife for their remembrance. I am writing just this morning in bed. Jimmy, Anastasia's dog, is sleeping nearly under my nose and interfering with my writing. 
or Tipo, Tatiana's dog, lies on my feet and keeps them warm. Fancy that the kind Komisar Makarov sent me my pictures two months ago. St. Simeon Nesterov's, the little annunciation from the bedroom, four small prints from my mauve room, five pastels of Kolbach, four enlarged snapshots from Livadia, Tatiana and me, Alexei and Sentry, Alexander III, Nicholas I, and also a small carpet from my bedroom. So apparently they received some things from the Alexander Palace that, um, uh, that they probably uh, requested to be sent there, and finally they got them um, a few months later, four months later, um, after they arrived in Tobolsk. My wicker lounge chair, too, is standing in my bedroom now. Now, the wicker furniture used to be in the, um, um, on the balcony in the Alexander Palace, and that was a very, um, uh, that was something, they had a lot of wicker furniture out on that balcony, so it sounds like they also brought that with them. Among the other cushions is the one filled with rose leaves given to me by the Tartar women. It has been with me all the way. At the last moment of the night at Tsarskaya, I took it with me, slept on it on the train and on the boat, and the lovely smell refreshed me. Have you had any news of Gaharn? Write to him and give him my regards. One of the former wounded, Sirobayarsky, has visited him. There are 12, 22 degrees of frost today but bright sunshine. Now that's Celsius, of course. And when, she, when they say degrees of frost, it means minus, minus 22. So warmth would be plus 22, frost would be minus 22. So the temperature is actually minus 22 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold. But bright sunshine. Do you remember the sister of Mercy, Kay Bittner? Do you remember the Sister of Mercy, Kay Bittner? Now, she's talking about Claudia Bittner, who later, um, who had arrived in Tobolsk and uh, became the children's tutor. She's giving the children lessons. What luck! The days fly. It is Saturday again, and we shall have evening service at nine. A comer of the drawing room has been arranged with our icons and lamps. It is home-like, but not church. I got so used to going almost daily for three years to the church of Znamenia before going on to the hospital. But I advise you to write to Monsieur Giliard, Giliard. Now I have refilled my fountain pen. Would you like some macaroni and coffee? I hope soon to send you some. It is so difficult for me here to take the vegetables out of the soup without eating any of it. Now, she was a vegetarian, and um, I'm assuming that the soup was meat-based, so she had to um, take the vegetables out so she could eat them, um, but not the, uh, the, not the meat part. So that's what she's talking about, I think. It is easy for me to fast and to do so without fresh air, but I sleep badly. Yet I hardly feel any of the ills of the flesh. My heart is better, as I live such a quiet life, almost without exercise. I have been very thin, but it is less noticeable now, although my gowns are like sacks. I am quite gray, too. The spirits of the whole family are good, God is very near us, we feel his support, and are often amazed that we can endure events and separations which once might have killed us. Although we suffer horribly, still there is peace in our souls. I suffer mostly for Russia, and I suffer for you too, but I know that ultimately all will be for the best. Only I don't understand anything any longer. Everyone seems to have gone mad. I think of you daily and love you dearly. You are splendid, and I know how wonderfully you have grown. 
Do you remember the picture by Nesterov's Christ's Bride? Does the convent still attract you in spite of your new friend? God will direct everything. I want to believe that I shall see your siblings at my hospital in the style of a convent. Where are the Sisters of Mercy, Mary and Tatiana? What has become of Princess Tchaikovskaya? And has she married her friend? Old Madame Orloff has written to me that her grandson John was killed in the war and that his fiancée killed herself from grief. Now they're buried beside his father. So how sad. My regards to my dear Lancers, to Yakolev, Father John, and others. Pray for them all. I am sure that God will have mercy on our Russia. Has she not atoned for her awful sins? My love, burn my letters. It is better. I have kept nothing of the dear past. We all kiss you tenderly and bless you. God is great and will not forsake those encircled by his love. Well, obviously Anya didn't burn her letters. Luckily for us, we still have them. Uh, but she did keep them, apparently. Dear child, I shall be thinking of you especially during Christmas. I hope that we will meet again. But where and how is in his hands? We must leave it all to him who knows all better than we. And that's the end of the letter. Very sad. Very sad letter. A little show and tell that I do. Uh, today I will uh, show you this, this uh, framed uh, these two framed photographs I've had for years now, um, I think since like 2004, but um, you can see it's a before and after, it's a then and now um, picture of the uh, Moika Palace, uh, Felix Yusupa Moika Palace where Rasputin got murdered. So as you can see, uh, this is the before and this is the after. Um, I, I have posted these uh, in um, somewhere uh, probably in, in one of the Facebooks uh, maybe in the group or maybe in the um, the regular Facebook page but um, if you'd like to see this close up let me know in the comments and I will uh, repost it in um, in the group so you can see it and it's kind of interesting to see the um, the church in the background you could you could still see like the, the St. Isaac's Cathedral is there but that church right there is no longer there there's a, like some ugly Soviet building there instead um, it's a it's an it's an interesting it's a it's kind of an interesting picture I need to put it in a in a um, frame and hang it up I've had it hanging and then when I moved I, I brought it over without the frame so um, hopefully I can find the, the right size frame and, and it up again meanwhile it goes back into like the goodie bag that I use for show and tell um, all right that's it until next time subscribe like comment I'll see you soon bye thanks for listening